I'm Ken Dryden. You're about to meet three remarkable young Canadians, innovators and visionaries, change makers, who are beginning to shape the future of our country. On this episode, a race against time takes on new meaning. An MS diagnosis changed this former speed skater's life, and now she champions exciting new neurological research. This high-tech inventor pioneers a robotic device bringing disabled people to within arm's reach of the world. And inspired by the love of a brother, an innovative app that guides those with cognitive needs find their own way. Narrated by filmmaker, actor, changemaker, Sarah Pauly. Crystal Phillips was racing towards an Olympic medal when her dream suddenly shattered. The speed skating champion was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I felt every human nature reaction of anger and fear and frustration and loneliness. But since that day, Crystal is redefining the word victory for a much greater reward. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the, the most proud I've ever felt. Crystal is on a quest to find alternative medical treatments for neurological diseases. Crystal grew up on the ice. She took up speed skating when she was nine. By age 17, Crystal was an Olympic hopeful. Then, one morning, she noticed a strange numbness. I woke up completely blind in my left eye. Um, I couldn't even see the, the light of the sun. I lost feeling from the, my chest to my toes, um, lost bladder control, and had double vision in a matter of three days. Crystal was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, or MS, a degenerative neurological disease. Things were definitely crashing around me. I felt every human nature reaction of anger and fear and frustration and loneliness and um, anxiety about the future. What was going through my mind was, oh my goodness, like, I can't speed skate again. I had full trust in my doctors. They did recommend a drug treatment plan that involved taking an injection every day, and so I did that for five years. But as I started to learn about some of the natural approaches, like nutrition and physio and chiro and sports psychology, my frustration started to grow as I realized how big the gap was for funding and research for the natural approaches to healing the nervous system for all neurological disorders. Crystal has become the catalyst of a growing medical movement. She started a nonprofit foundation called Branch Out to fund scientific research into non-pharmaceutical treatments for neurological diseases. Crystal's efforts have defined a whole new medical discipline called NeuroCam neuroscience and complementary and alternative modalities. Nice work. Hi, brain speed, hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're trying to put the natural approaches to healing a nervous system at the same level scientifically as the pharmaceutical industry. We're credible, we fund top-notch research. As we started to put money out there in grant calls, it's amazing how many neuroscientists actually wanted to explore this, but funding was their main um, obstacle for making it happen. Diseases like Parkinson's, concussion, Alzheimer's, epilepsy, there's over 600 plus to choose from. They affect over 20% of the world's population. I moved Crystal's challenge was to sell NeuroCam to the medical establishment. It's proven when it comes to something natural that you can't patent, that you can't really profit off of, the motivation to fund that is drastically diminished. About three or four years ago, Crystal Phillips, she asked to come and see me to tell me about an idea that she had for a new way to approach neurological conditions, a complementary approach to what we do in uh, the biomedical world. But she was approaching it from the point of view of not just what could benefit her, but what could possibly benefit many others. And to my knowledge, this was the first effort for an individual, certainly in this country, to want to take something like that on. It's, it's, it's such Dr. Sam Weiss was an early supporter. 
He helped set up a review panel to size up research proposals on natural therapies that would complement conventional medicine. And the body and how that can affect the brain. Um, so Haley like Vecchiarelli was one of the first successful applicants. Her research on cannabis and THC is winning awards. It's really hard to get funding for research into complementary and alternative modalities. It's just been really amazing that there's an organization to fund scientific research into these things. Scientists need to be doing science, and the Brancho Foundation and myself, we never claim to be the experts, and that's why we fund them. What we're experts at is fundraising and finding the best neuroscientists in Canada to be able to research. You're like our superstar <laughs> neuroscientist. <laughs> Thank you. And then this year you won the Vanier, I which did. is, that's one of the most prestigious science awards you can win in the country, right? Yeah, it's, it's the top graduate student award in the country, and, and I don't think I would have um, won it without receiving branch out support first. That's so awesome. I'm just that gives me goosebumps. So, I'm just so <laughs> appreciative. This tests mechanical pain thresholds. How much is it going to hurt? Well, put out your hand and we'll find out. I don't want to. <laughs> Science is so hard. Two grams Kyle away. Mayer is exploring the effects of diet on pain sensitivity. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Right. So we We've cumulatively, over the six years, raised about $2 million, and we funded over 46 uh, research programs across Western Canada. Have you had any resistance to fund this sort of thing? Actually, I was denied three scholarship opportunities. They didn't find the value in it. It had the basic research, but by using a diet that everyone can use, it wasn't novel enough. Thank you so much, because that's it's it's really encouraging for me. This is what motivates me to continue doing the work that I do with Branch Out. All that future promise depends on Crystal's impressive fundraising skills. So this is the primary role of mine, is to go out, meet with people, fundraising at every level, form different partnerships and make relationships with people that are connected to the cause and want to help out. Yeah. Got the final tally today. Ooh, what is it? 19,445. Nice! That's amazing! Yeah. Young entrepreneurs across the city are Crystal's biggest supporters. Natural medicine is a perfect fit for the makers of a new herbal tea. 10% of every bottle is going to go towards Branch Out. And so in the first quarter, you raised $1,000. First quarter, us. you raised $1,000. Amazing. So onward and upward. $1 from every draft pint sold goes to Branch Out. $3 from every bottle. And we've sold how many bottles? 149 bottles. OK. And pints? Between 800 and 1,000. Amazing. Artists like Camille Bett are backing Branch Out, too donating artworks to help raise funds. I'm interested personally in helping branch out because two years ago my sister was diagnosed with ALS. I'm not a scientist, so as an artist, if there's a way that I can help bring awareness and help with the fundraising and philanthropy, I'd be happy to. Apart from two MS relapses, Crystal has stayed in remission and in peak physical condition. She still loves to hit the ice for a workout with her best friend and former teammate, Shannon Rempel. My mom was diagnosed with MS five years before Crystal was diagnosed, so I was well aware of what was going on. We've been together through lots of ups and downs, and even at her lowest lows, there was always that sense of humor and that ability to look at the good in things, and then that drive that was like relentless always. Five years after her diagnosis, Crystal defied the odds and fought her way back to the 2010 Olympic trials. It was in the 1,000 meter, and I actually had a huge personal best time. And I think the coolest part was, <laughs> this is emotional. The crowd ooh, went crazy. They all knew my history. They were all just as shocked as I was, being one of the top skaters in Canada to get diagnosed with MS. So to see me back at that level, raising my personal best time in a big crowd of people at the Olympic Oval, that was probably the most special moment in speed skating I've ever had. Coming up. Oh, wow. Yeah, no problem. So now she's better. <laughs> I feel like this is the, 
most proud I've ever felt. With MS being an unpredictable disease and being threatened with going into relapse and possibly even progressing to a wheelchair one day, it's always there. Just scrunch up your forehead, tight, good. Blow out your cheeks. MS is a, an extremely variable disease. Crystal has a relapsing remitting type where she may have flares. So unfortunately, it's not knowing, but I think Crystal's taking a very progressive approach to her health, being very active in terms of her nutrition, managing her stress, exercise. She does not take on the victim mentality. Ooh. She's very empowered. OK, I have MS, now what can I do? And not only what can she do for herself personally, but how can I help other people with this disease? Yeah, like I have some general questions mm -hmm. about MS. I feel like as I'm getting older, I didn't tell you this, but I'm engaged with John. Yay, Yay. that's awesome. Just as of a few <laughs> weeks ago. Although I'm not thinking about mm -hmm. kids, I, it has crossed my mind a couple times um, just because I hear about MS and mm -hmm. how you're more inclined to go into relapse after giving birth. Right. And I just wanted to know a little bit more about the risks with that. The key thing is that you're not on any medications before because most of the medications for MS are toxic to the growing fetus. So you're in good shape there. And then there is a chance, about 40%, that you may get some relapses afterwards. So it's important that you make some you know, accommodations in case you have a a relapse after just in terms of help with the baby and that sort of thing. We so. have like probably four years to do this so okay, okay. I'm being really proactive. <laughs> no, well that's your style. Yeah. From the personal to the professional, the Crystal the Phillips is always thinking ahead. Uh, 2018 global, global Summit and thanks for the push Sam on that one because um, it's definitely turned a lot of our conversations and any further thoughts that you've had on the summit or on the center and um, maybe... To be able to bring people together who are like-minded, not just in Alberta, but globally, and be able to attract people from around the world and then allow them to collaborate and share ideas. I call it venture philanthropy. I'm incredibly enthusiastic about the idea of uh, a NeuroCam Center Institute as a sort of a, with a global reach to, uh, to bring together uh, young people who can change the future so that we see the brain and approaching neurological conditions differently. <laughs> I don't know, I not like I know, that's the thing. When's the last time you've been to mountains? Every once in a while, I will have that moment of what if there's a day where I'm no longer able to hike a mountain? And I'll get teared up and emotional and it can hit me at the most random times. You know, I remember the time you took us up to the top of that crystal <laughs> and how we got up the backside and we looked over the front. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Pretty exposed. But it makes me realize that, okay, like this is this is real and you're not denying that you have MS. The future is going to be what it is and there's no point of worrying about it now because it's not helpful. Christmas done. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations on your engagement, you guys. John, Crystal, cheers. I feel like I could handle anything if it happens. I have this incredible support system, but I also practice nurturing that support system and giving back to that support system and building those relationships. So I'm never afraid to ask for help. And that's part of my therapy. So I, I know what I need when I'm not doing well and I have everyone available to help me when I, when I need it. Goal. Crystal has come to watch a Branch Out funded project in motion. <laughs> it uses music to help Parkinson's patients overcome a common symptom called muscle freeze. It can stop longtime patients like Candace Soul in their tracks. So is this freezing? Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually seen the freezing live. Yeah. Okay, good. So Rhythm awareness in the brain is closely connected to movement regulation. While Parkinson's disease can derail everyday body movement, the rhythm of the Ambulo Sono device gives Candace's brain a template that guides her body back on track. So she's training with the music, okay? And then uh, the more she does this, the more she is in the mood.
Oh wow. No yeah, problem. So now she's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Very How does that feel? <laughs> Wonderful. Office uncomfortable. This is great. Oh. Wow. There's a tremendous need for non-pharmaceutical research, but we need a strong scientific rationale will make the alternative medicine truly believable. So you're going to tell. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's NeuroCam. You're doing it for all the right reasons, you know? Knowing that this kind of research is going on gives me hope for my, my future in dealing with this disease. Yeah, for sure. Me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Well, and, and I, I, I hear from Dr. Ben that this has been used in post-stroke patients, MS mm -hmm. patients. Autism. Autism. I feel like this is the, the most proud I've ever felt. I didn't even do the work. <laughs> Thank goodness there's someone like Dr. Bin. This hill is one of the hardest programs in speed skating. A lot of my puke is on this hill. It represents the ultimate challenge. And for some reason, you're able to get this extra mental strength that pushes you right to the top. The Branch Hill Foundation is more than just a funding body. We're recreating a whole system of research, and that foundational work is now gaining interest from some of the bigger philanthropists. So that $20 million donation and legacy fund is just around the corner. It was always my dream to win an Olympic gold medal, but as I was starting the Branch Out Foundation, I realized that the Branch Out Foundation really was my gold medal. Coming up. You just spent a day in a wheelchair.